Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay with Josh's Frogs. I work on our marketing team um, as our product development specialist and project manager. And I'm here to talk to you about sphagnum moss today. Specifically Chilean sphagnum. Up until recently, we had only offered New Zealand sphagnum and due to a bad harvest season, it was very hard to get our hands on. So we had to figure out another option, not only for our animals, but for your animals, because we got to have something to offer our customers. And uh, pretty much can be used for everything that the New Zealand moss was. Um, it can absorb up to 10 times its weight in water and hold humidity really well in terrariums. Sphagnum moss can be used with plants, specifically with orchids and brahms. It's really popular. Um, as you see in this tank, we've got it as the top layer of a naturalistic setup. So we've got drainage layer, got your substrate barrier, ABG mix, and then sphagnum. For animal use, um, it's great to retain humidity in humid hides. I know with my leopard gecko, she likes to hide under there with some sphagnum, and then I also have a white tree frog that uses it in a little bamboo humidifier. Um, if you don't need it in your full terrarium, that helps with keeping humidity higher in specific spots. Our curators did find that one use it does not serve well is for raising dart froglets. Unfortunately, the strands in the Chilean moss are a little bit more delicate, so they'll break down more after general use, and it can stick to the froglets and stress them out, which we don't want that for the little guys. So um, I would stick with New Zealand sphagnum for that use, but otherwise, the Chilean sphagnum pretty much fits all your needs. So we have it available on the site now. It is in a five kilogram bale, or we have, for smaller setups, we have a 100 gram bag that is perfect for like 10 gallons and little setups like that. Find the Chilean sphagnum and so much more on our site at joshusfrogs.com. Follow us on social media and thanks for joining.